Darrell Jazz Johnson here, MSG Varsity, Fathers and Sons, Raz and Jazz Sports, here with former New York Nick, Anthony Mason. Anthony, how are you doing today? I'm doing real good, and you? Great, thanks. Uh, what's the significance of uh, a day like today, the game uh, that's going on today? Well, the significance is insurmountable. I mean, the significance of what he's done for us uh, as a people and the rights that we now have and the things that we can do, I mean, you can't even describe. It should be a Martin Luther King week. Uh, how do you think the rivalry between the Brooklyn Nets, the now Brooklyn Nets, and the New York Knicks have developed now that they're playing their fourth and final game of the regular season? Well, you knew that was going to be big anyway. Brooklyn is its own city, and, you know, the Knicks are historic, and they put two good teams on the floor, so you knew it was going to be a battle from day one. Saw you with uh, a few of your, your teammates earlier. What is it like for you to come into this building and to see your former teammates and, and, and get a chance to relive some of the old days? Well, it's always good, but what I got to do is applaud the guard, and they still treat me like I'm part of the team. Uh, I still get to walk around the garden and stuff like that, but uh, it's always good to see some of your former players, especially because they're doing well. What are some of the things that you're currently working on with the uh, New York Knicks organization? Well, I'm not really uh, an employee, but I still do appearances for the Knicks right now. I'm doing insurance, high net worth individuals and businesses, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to get some stuff within these athletes because uh, it's too much of a high rate of uh, – poverty after retirement and if they can plan ahead using insurance vehicles not just because I'm doing it but just because of the stuff I've learned then I think it can be a great tool for them and a lot of people won't be going you know broke after five years of retirement. How disheartening is it to see some players that you used to play with talk about being broke after they've made millions of dollars? Well you know it, a lot of people point a fault at it. Uh, is it the players' fault or they're stupid? Is it the league's fault? And it's a combination. It's not It's not really nobody's fault because if you don't know, you don't know. And just like I didn't know nothing about paying a student loan. I didn't know nothing about paying on time to keep your credit score up until you learn the hard way. So a lot of people learn the hard way. And then you got to remember, us as athletes, nobody's helped us growing up. We've seen our mothers and our fathers working two, three jobs. Then all of a sudden we get this big contract and everybody jumps out the woodwork. Hey, I got an idea. So some of us go into a defensive cocoon and it can work both ways. You might hide from a snake or you might miss on good advice. So you get caught up like that. So it's not really no fault. But if we can get this out early and start teaching these kids maybe in high school, because, I mean, Columbus Discovered America is a beautiful thing, but at the end of the day, that's not going to help your, your credit score. That's not going to help you with your bills. you got to learn some of this financial education, and, and it could be useful. And that's through insurance vehicles. That's through savings. That's through better planning. Thanks a lot, Anthony. All right.